do you got there? Let uh, me see how that works. A walnut picker up here. Oh my goodness, where's your pants? Go get your pants, kid. What you do is find one of these walnuts. It doesn't really matter if you have a shell or not because wherever it mushes, the, the shell just does not go through. So, and, and, and this is where we keep all of the walnuts. And this place is, it has this part so then well, they won't like roll out. So you can like do this and you can collect the walnuts. All right, show me how. Do you have a walnut? Do what? You, could. you picked it up so good. And then how do you put it in? Oh, you're going to get another one? Oh, you can get a bunch at once, huh? And then you just pour them out. Yep. Good job, Rowan. I, I cannot wait to crack all these. You're going to get some too? Yeah. All right, go for it. Peter, you want that peanut? <laughs> you give him one. Yeah, that's yummy. Get that peanut. <laughs> Titus, you can't have peanuts. You wouldn't like it very much. I promise, you would not like it. You gonna talk? Are you talking? He says bottom teeth, so he'll... I know everybody wants a barn tour because they think that's pretty cool, but right now our barn is being used as a holding station for all of our household belongings. So it's not as exciting of a barn tour as it will be when it's done. So I'll just give you a quick look. Ryan, you want to show them the barn? Yeah, come on, take a look. So it's got wooden floors so that means no animals will be kept in here and it's got electricity it's got a loft up there super excited about that it's only got a ladder leading up to the loft but soon it will be stairs because ryan's gonna build some right and i'm when i say soon that's very relative but it's got nice windows what else ryan we have lots of pre-built shelves in the barn to store things we have lots of power outlets, so we'll be able to power all of our tools and devices or whatever we need. So basically we'll be able to do incubator out here, dehydrator out here, lots of stuff to keep room in the house, huh? It is three or four o'clock, somewhere in that realm. And I was just thinking how this is used to be my least favorite time of day because it used to be a year or two ago when my body would crash from my thyroid and all the other issues I was experiencing with adrenal fatigue, etc. But now it's like my favorite time of the day to get stuff done because I just laid Odin down for a nap and I know this is going to be one of his longer naps and I'm going to go ahead and try to get some more stuff unpacked off the truck and into the barn temporarily until we can sort through it all and bring it in the house. We got to decorate for Halloween. I made sure we grabbed the Halloween box this last trip back to the house. And the boys and Ryan and I had so much fun pulling out all of our cute decorations. I really wanted to show it to you at night because it's super creepy. <laughs> the boys had the best time putting up decorations. Oh, the goat's hat fell off. The goat's wearing a witch hat. Skeleton on the door. Rowan made it dancing for a dancing skeleton. And then there's 
lots of creepiness about. So much fun to put this together with my boys. And they made it look so cool. Creepy, scary. Ooh. What do you think? Yes, that's a toddler bed on our front porch. I thought it was pretty funny that I have my spider plants hanging out here and they go so perfectly with our funky spider webs and creepy things. I hope you all have a very happy Halloween, whether you celebrate it or not. And just enjoy the day because it'll be a good weekend to celebrate because this is the last weekend of our move and I'm so excited to start being just here and no more back and forth.